Hey third grade, we're gonna be making a Chinese fan art using black India ink. It's gonna be in a cup like this, okay? And with the black India ink, we're going to be using straws as well to get this beautiful um, cherry blossom tree on here. I haven't added the cherry blossoms yet because I'm going to show you how to do this exact step. Okay, so first you're gonna wanna start off with a new piece of paper. So go ahead and make sure you have your new piece of paper and make sure your name is on the back of it. So this is my new piece of paper. Then, once your name is on the back of it, you're gonna be looking at it in front of you in landscape style because our tree is gonna be coming from the side of our um paper it's gonna be coming to the side not like up like a normal tree like i guess you could have it in front of you like this and if in case that makes you feel better but it is supposed to come up to the side then you should have a paintbrush you should have india ink at your table in a little blue cup like that or in a different type of cup and you should have your straw now what you're going to do is with the india ink you got to be careful because it's going to be very watery but you're going to start and grab a lot like i'm talking make sure your your brush is almost almost dripping and you're going to start by putting a one black line there make sure that's very wet you you, you really don't want to be like skimping out on the um paint you want to make sure you're using a lot of paint and then you're gonna add some branches, okay? See how my paint is almost like dripping? Has to be like very, very watery or else the cool effect that we're trying to achieve is not gonna, not gonna work. So we got some drips in there. Or not drips, sorry. I mean like branches, but our paintbrushes, this has to be super wet. You have to be able to like see the water, okay. Then you're gonna put your paintbrush down. Okay, you're gonna have like a branch kind of like this. And then with your straw, you're gonna blow through one part of the straw, of course, so that the so that your air can push the water out. Okay, so I'm gonna do it right now. See how I'm like blowing in different sections? Like I'm not just blowing one big blow. It's like, like little short breaths of blows, okay? And you can rotate your paper however you need it. If it's not working, it's probably because you don't have enough paint on there or you're not like pushing it. I can't do this for you because this is your straw, it has to be your breath, so. Okay, so you should have this really, really cool effect with all of the water kind of splatted out and that's gonna be kind of like our tree, all right? So once you do that, you're gonna throw away your straw. You don't need this again, throw it away in the trash. Then with your brush, you're gonna clean it in some water because right now it's black and we're gonna be moving on to the flowers. So this needs to be fully clean. So clean it in some water. Make sure your brush is fully clean, okay? Then, your cherry blossom trees, you can do different colors. Um, I'm gonna stick with pink because traditional cherry blossom trees are pink. Now, we have to be very careful. If you have too much black paint on here, then the cherry, the paint, the pink paint is gonna get a lot of black on it. So I'm gonna pick spots where there's not that much paint. Like over here is kind of dry, so I'm gonna, Go ahead, put four little dots for my cherry blossoms. And I'm gonna get some more. I'm gonna maybe even put some over here. 
see it's already starting to mix a little bit if, if there's a little bit of black in there you're fine you just don't want it to be too obvious i'm gonna put some over here where there's like not as much black paint Hmm, I'm gonna pick some over here. You're just kind of doing these little pieces. Okay. And it's okay if your flowers don't look perfect. This is gonna turn into a fan in anyways. So if it's not perfect, that is okay. We just want like our fan to have at least some colors. I feel like I'm gonna put some over here where there's not too much black paint. All right, so after you're done with your cherry blossoms, then you're just going to um, include a little Chinese symbol either in any of these corners, like where you have like free space, okay? Um, you can be any symbol that you want. I'm not gonna show you guys how to do that, but um, I'm, I should have given you a paper with Chinese symbols and you're gonna put like a Chinese symbol here or there, anywhere you want. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. Thank you.